Kai on Lois Brownfield. Boy, did you see the prices on this menu? Boy, this guy must be rich or something. Probably went to one of those fancy colleges. I hope he doesn't ask me about college because I never went. So, Lois, tell me, where did you go to college? Well, I never went to college because I used to watch these movies about college life. Right. <laughs> I came home from school one day and I was sitting watching this B-rated movie. It's kind of like a horror film and a college thing all together. And it's called Sorority Girls from Hell. And it starts off with the first three characters in the film. And you see them in the hallway, right? And it's in black and white, made in the 50s. And they're wearing, like, white lipstick and big beehive hairdos. And they chew gum and smoke cigarettes. And they wear, like, real tight skirts that slit at the side. And party pumps and real tight blouses with pointy bras. The stuff sticks to them. And their names are, like, Donna, Sandra, and Lori. Real tough. And they'd stand there, and some guy'd walk by, and they'd go, Hey, Bob, why don't you come on over later and see us? Ah! Mm. <laughs> and they were really tough and really awful. And every time you'd see them in the film, you'd hear their theme music. You'd hear this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so when you heard that music, you knew we were going to see the three gals, right? So in this film with these three gals was this one gal who was really weird, right? Her name was Irma Munson. Wore big glasses, real stringy hair, really awful. Carried her books like this. She was really smart. You could see around corners and stuff. And she had, like, short hair and glasses and, like, pimples. And, and she smelled like food and stuff. And she was, like, really weird. And she had cooties the whole bit. And she wore her nylons backwards, which is real tough to do. And she wore a really long skirt with a pin through her skirt, through her leg, and back through her skirt again. Every time you see her in the film, you'd hear her theme music. You'd hear this. Dun, dun. something not quite right with Irma. So every time the girls see Irma, they tease her and taunt her and push her and tie her trees and give her x slacks real mean to her. And poor Irma would walk by and the girls would go, look at your clothes, Irma. You can't even get a guy. Look at you. Look, look at, at you. you. walking along and it's pouring rain and all you can hear is her shoes in the mud going and it's pouring rain but the rain is stopping right here because it's scared of her too and she's walking and the girls are in the sorority house and they got the music up real loud and they got guys over and they're smoking and drinking and waiting for Irma to come home and you hear dun, dun. That's real soon. Hey, Irma, it's a good thing you're home. Why don't you dance hard, Sarma? Dance hard. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Dun, 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 dun. Go, go, go. Irma's finally gone nuts. And the pin pops off her skirt, and her skirt goes, whoop, 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 whoop. Dun, 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 dun. And she runs into her room, and she gets a letter opener off her desk. And she goes to the boys the girls' room, and the girls are dancing. Dun, dun. them all. So that's why I never went to college. Are the muscles fresh?